All right, welcome to week five of this fantasy football season. By now, you know what you have in your fantasy football team. Some major moves may need to be made, or you just may need to stay in pack. And your worst enemy is going to be yourself because you're going to want to pick up that hot waiver wire pick or make that sweet little trade. Don't. But for those of you who are in trouble floundering in week five, I've got your solutions. I'm Dennis Farrell. It's another fantasy selfie. I've got news, updates. I got some buy sell trades in this week's schedules. Let's get at it. Week five matchup for you guys. Minnesota at the Packers. The Packers are the fourth worst running back defense. Chicago at Carolina. Chicago is the sixth worst against wide receivers. Carolina is the fourth worst defense overall. And you drafted them really high. I feel bad for you. Cleveland at Tennessee. Cleveland is the second worst defense against running backs. Uh, we'll get to that one here in a little bit. St. Louis, Philadelphia, Atlanta, the Giants, Tampa Bay, New Orleans, Texans, Dallas, Buffalo, Detroit, Baltimore, Indianapolis, Pittsburgh, Jacksonville, Arizona at Denver, Kansas City at the 49ers, Jets at San Diego, Cincinnati at New England. After Monday night game, I'm worried about New England, and I think A.J. Green will have a good day in that matchup. Seattle at Washington. Now, here's some news for you going into Week 5. Hopefully, you can adjust your rosters in time. Looks like Ben Tate has been practicing this week, and if he is cleared, he should start this week. So, everybody going off on every other Cincinnati or Cleveland running back, sit him. Ben Tate will get the touches if he is cleared. Follow me on Twitter. I'll give that at the end of the video so you can keep up with the updates on game day. Teddy Bridgewater missed practice. He's not a sure thing to play, and that came out of his mouth. If I were you, I would probably sit Cordell Patterson. I'm not high on him this week without Teddy Bridgewater. He didn't do much with him in when he was put in. Look, I don't know what to tell you. If you're a, a owner of anybody on Minnesota or counting on Teddy Bridgewater, this may not be the week, and it's a short week because they play this Thursday night. I'm passing on him. George Wynn has been activated for the Detroit Lions at running back off the practice squad. What this means is Joick Bell may not play this week. If you have Joick Bell in your flex spot, sit him. He's not going to play, and if he does, I don't know how effective he will be after that. Reports are Cam Newton is still not healthy. They've been holding him back a little bit. I guess it'll be probably two more weeks before you really see the true Cam Newton running, not holding back. For now, you know... I wouldn't play him if you have somebody better. I know a friend of mine who has been playing uh, Joe Flacco over him, which is totally understandable. But, you know, I got to tell you, I'm still I'm still worried about the ribs, and apparently so is the team. They've been holding him back. Niles Davis. Look, guys, I this guy is fool's gold. It, you know, I didn't add him in my buy, sell, and trades. But from here on out, I expect him to get between the 10 to 12 touches a game. He got approximately 16 on Monday night for 107 yards, but 48 of those yards came off of one play. So if you're a Miles uh, Niles Davis owner, I might think about trading him about now. His stock will probably not be any higher. Uh, you know, I'll be honest, with, with Jamal Charles back, it's definitely going to take a hit. Now, a couple waiver wire pickups that you might want to rush out and pick up while you can is Jarek McKinnon. He's one of those guys that, uh, you know, I'm talking about is in a nasty running back situation all year long with Matt Estanzia. Look, you know, he's struggled in pass protection and catching passes, but he's getting a little bit better. He had a great day in week four, 18 for 135. We'll get the mat here in a little bit. Uh, Justin Forsett is own, owned in 41% of the leagues. Here's a situation where Bernard Pierce was healthy. They did not play him at all. They say it was a precaution, but I really think this is going to be Justin Forsett's starting role going forward. Uh, other words, other guys is Darren Reeves. He's owned in one percent against Chicago Carolina running back with De De D'Angelo Williams banged up now. It may not play this week. Jonathan Stewart out a few more weeks. You also have uh, Tolbert, who's out for the season. He's going to be the starting running back. So if you are in need of a running back, you may want to pick him up. I'm not expecting him to 
reinvent the running back position, but he might be a guy that could snag you 7 to 10 points in the standard league if all goes well against Chicago, who is not that great. Alfred Blue, owned in 24% of leagues. Listen, Arian Foster played last week. He did not look great. He was struggling with that chronic hamstring, and it's only going to get worse the more they try to play him. Alfred Blue will eventually be the starting running back on this team. You want to own him before anybody else does. Or if someone owns him, he might be a very cheap trade target for you right now to go out and try to get if you need a running back at that point. And finally, Andre Holmes owned in 3% of the leagues. Three, he was uh, 5 for 74 and one touchdown. He led the team with targets last week with 12. Listen, with Streeter out four to five weeks, this guy steps in the starting role. He did it last year. He's going to do it again. If you need a wide receiver and you need one cheap, go after Andre Holmes. Now, I'm going to add some buy, sell, and trades now. We're at the point where you got to make a roster move to stay afloat. I got a couple guys here, and I'll try to add them in throughout the weeks here on the videos. Number one, my buy is Kelvin Benjamin with people a little bit worried about Cam Newton. He averaged 13 points in three of the last four games. And, you know, he doesn't bring that big name value right now, so you might be able to get him for a, a song and a dance right now. I'm selling Matt Estanzia, you know, the, the guy who stepped in and took over for Adrian Peterson. I know we're all amazed by the 27-point game, the three touchdowns, but he rushed for 78 yards. And as you heard a few minutes ago in this video, I'm worried about what McKinnon's going to do. So I'm selling him while his value is high. Also, he has another great matchup this Thursday night going against Green Bay, who has the fourth worst fantasy point production versus running back. So, you know, maybe after this game, you might want to sell him two big games in a row or do it before the game. But either way, he's got to be on your quick list to sell right now. Guys, I'm trading for Bishop Sankey. The coaches were complaining about footwork. What was what are we dancing out there? But he apparently has improved it. His touches will go up. And going forward, you know, three of his next matchups are pretty good for him. Cleveland, Jacksonville, and Washington. So if I could get Bishop Stanky right now, I would. I would sit on him. I wouldn't play him. But I think eventually he will start producing for you. Another guy I'm trading for is Mark Ingram. You know, he's a few weeks from coming back, but before he got hurt, Ingram posted three touchdowns and 34 fantasy points in two games. I'm a huge fan of Ingram's going forward, especially when Pierre Thomas did not get any work Sunday night against Dallas. You want to go out and get Mark Ingram while you can. Now remember, you can follow me everywhere and anywhere. Facebook me, Dennis Farrell, F-A-R-R-E-L-L. -L. If you're on Twitter, which I hope you are, you can shoot me a follow, dennis 77 Farrell. If you're on Pinterest, pin me. Uh, you can Friendster me. Uh, you can link in me. You, either way, follow me. Be friends. Let's, let's, let's connect on that social media. And if you're looking for a good podcast, hey, go download mine. I'm on Stitcher and iTunes under the F word, fantasy. I'll give you some good stuff out there. Guys, thank you once again. I'm Dennis Farrell, Fox Sports Detroit, 97.1 FM News Talk St. Louis, and wherever else you can find me. And remember, Hill Hydra. <laughs>